launched a unilateral military offensive against Estigos Island, a territory of the nation of Yukon, which has been seeking independence. Sounds like all the wars nowadays. Crisis. Free. And he comes back with another playthrough, and this time it is, as you can tell on the screen, Time Crisis 3. Mm -hmm. This is always a, this one in particular is always a fun one to do. I'll actually keep the lives on 4 this time, which I think is... Can we... what it is? I'm not too sure. Keep it on. Sure it is. No, not normal. Oh, will put it on very hard. Oh, God, I love this thing. Oh, and then because I've been playing, I've been playing around with the infinite ammo features, so we'll make sure they're disabled. We'll go straight from the start. And there's a way, there's... The reason I got into the Time Crisis series was these two games, specifically 2 and 3, were shown to be shown to me by one of my old friends. So, yeah, that... That explains why I'm into it. Dang, already there. Oh, I screwed up the combo. Wrecking damn points. I find it kind of funny how the uh, enemies in the games will just sacrifice themselves and, you know, basically just destroy their own land just to get to you. It doesn't make any sense at all. You've got to have more of a strategic plan than that. But then again, I guess, I mean, these are video games. These defy logic. Like how the orange guys can take can take more ammo or multiple shots even just to kill. How I might possibly do this is, uh, I think I'll split these, this Time Crisis 3 and 4, I'll split them into uh, stages, each part will be one stage, and that'll be three areas in the stage, so that'll be three areas each part.
Ah, Jago Jaga. Jago Jago Jaga. Round to cover. It might not look so as bad on camera, but for me, it's it's really hard. It's hard to see the screen. The screen is actually surprisingly dark. So I don't know how it will be for you guys, but hopefully you'll be able to see it. It's fine. It seems like in the later games it obstacles become much easier to avoid. Why do I keep swapping weapons when I don't need to? Don't ask me. Uh, I just have a habit of doing it. So forgive me if that, that switching noise gets a little bit annoying. That's another tip is if you uh, if you want to maximize your point potential uh, make sure if you're shooting a normal enemy, to so say one that isn't one of the orange guys that has like uh, more health, but like, actually takes multiple hits to bring down. Uh, I'd advise shooting the normal guys three times, so that way you obviously you maximise the potential amount of points, and I guess you can go for headshots. You'll get lots of points this time. Oh boy, a car chase in uh, uh, arcade on rails. How many times have we seen this type of thing before? Uh, at least twice. It's a little bit more difficult for me to talk at the moment since uh, I'm, obviously I'm trying to focus uh, but I don't really know what to talk about at the moment so yay I guess. I can see many people failing before they even get to the first boss.
<laughs> oh Jesus. That's stage one done. My name is Alicia. I'm with the Lucano. No one who cares. See you guys in part two.